everyone welcome back to my candid world and today is the start of a new series on this channel so i don't know if you guys know but i've been on a bit of a skincare journey and since i've been making a bit more i've been able to invest in some products so currently i have a a combination skin based routine um I've already started it and it's been working so pretty well so I decided to stay on it rather than switching now to a more acne prone routine so currently what I do is start the morning with a I believe it's a salicylic acid no it's a um, a cream benzyl peroxide cleanser from clear and clean or clear and whatever their brand name is and then after that I put on a toner and then a spotting treatment for specific areas where you break out and then after that i put on a moisturizer and then that's for my day thing if i were going outside i would put on an spf moisturizer and then at night time currently i just wash my face with the cleanser put the spotting treatment and the moisturizer but today finally my the ordinary i got two different exfoliants i got a bha uh, forgot the exact percentages i got a bha one and i also got a two percent lactic acid one or five percent because i heard the ten percent one is a little bit too strong so i'm literally so excited i'm right now on my little porch because i thought this would be a cute area to start i'm in my pajamas because quarantine life so um i'm not gonna show you guys like it came in a really cute box but of course my address and stuff is on that and that's a no for me captain so anywho um okay police siren you just gotta be so rude like that for what not police siren ambulance anywho so here they are i'm gonna show you guys this is the lactic acid. Oh, I don't know why it shows upside down. Maybe if I turn it around, you guys can see it. Well, it's a lactic acid 5% plus HA um, exfoliant, chemical exfoliant. Because in my, you know, perfect or in my combination skin routine, I would need a chemical exfoliant uh, to exfoliate my skin. Especially because I have an oily T-zone and then a dry cheeks kind of area and I definitely needed something to help me with that. So I'm, this is if the, you know, the infamous red one, the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution doesn't work or if it's too strong for my skin, I plan to switch to the lactic acid one because it's a mild peeling solution and the AHA one is a bit stronger. Yeah, it's a 10 minute exfoliate, exfoliating facial. You're supposed to put it on at night because if you put that on and then go outside the sun, your skin will be more like vulnerable to the sun and you could possibly danger it or harm it or something like that. So I'm gonna be mindful of that. And as you can see, it's still light outside. So I won't be trying this until later today because I value my skin. As you can see guys, I'm currently having a breakout of blind pimples. They're starting to come to a head but I'm determined not to pop them because, you know, scarring. I already have some acne scars going on. So I'm definitely hoping to see some improvement. If I can, I will show some pictures of how my skin is looking right now. And I just want to use this to show people how it's working for my skin, a more acne prone combination skin. And if that's what you needed to convince you to either buy or not buy the products, then that's that's what I'm here for. I'm showing you guys aspects of my life to help improve yours. So I ordered this originally from Ulta Beauty, but there were so many complications. I had to get a refund and it was just a hot mess because once you order, you can't change your dress. And it was just, I was not very happy. I came in like, woo, Ulta Beauty. And then I found that the actual company, The Ordinary, has a main web website called The Decium. And there, not only was it cheaper, but I got it faster than I would have gotten it if I had bought it from Ulta Beauty. So I'm definitely happy with that. And probably the next part of this video you guys see is when it is later. And I'm actually going to be trying the um, uh, BHA thing uh is there anything else i mean besides this view i'm just casually flexing and hoping you guys will notice i don't think so yeah and i'm gonna be like 1050 percent honest with you i thought of this idea spontaneously if i had thought of it before then oh my god are they dying 
sorry guys my dad got me some hanging calibracoa or however it's pronounced and i'm afraid they're dying i have them hanging outside i think some of them are just weak from the transportation because others are doing really good i haven't watered them because it rains it's been raining really often uh, i'll show you guys them in a second but yeah this came to me spontaneously if i had thought of it before then you guys would have seen me done my morning face routine so you'll only be seeing the night routine today but i'm going to try and do at least once a week updates it's definitely been like a mission of mine to document as much as possible of what's happening because when I'm older I'm gonna be like hey I lived through a pandemic we're speaking it into existence we're gonna live through this y'all we're gonna make it through so um, yeah unless there's any more updates the next time you see me is when I'll be trying to do an aesthetic red BHA on my skin picture for Instagram which you guys should definitely follow me on Chelsea hey it's as simple as that follow me on instagram you'll get most of my updates there and check out all the links in my bio i'll see you guys when i'm doing my face routine bye yeah, um don't, don't even ask why i'm back for a third time i forgot to show you guys the calibracoa so you see i've got them hanging here on this hook uh it's drizzling a little bit so they should get some water i hope you know because the water is a, a little damp so i hope they don't drown i want to keep them as live uh, alive as long as possible I hope they like drop seeds or something so that more can grow because these are honestly really pretty and as my garden is still in the process there are only seedlings not actual flowers yet i can definitely use some color to pop it um my scallion are just this is a skincare video why am i talking about my garden i'll see you guys in the next video N next video i'll see you guys later on what in for you it'll be like 10 seconds for me it'll be literal hours okay bye hey everyone so we're back i just took a shower because i don't know if i want to say it like opens your pores since technically pores can't open or close but it's taking a warm shower helps the product sink better into your skin or something like that i'm sure you could look it up so um, at first, I'm going to start with my cream cleanser. I use, um, that's what it's called, clean and clear. I think I said that. And like I said, it has benzoyl peroxide. So I'm going to, it's really hard to like, because I don't have a mini tripod. It's a little hard to like film and do it. So like, I don't know, can I like push you to the side? Okay, that kind of works. So I'm going to do my cleanser. See, it has a really pretty packaging and it's famous for its bright red coloring. So, I've cleaned my face, patted dry. It says to wait till it's dry and not apply on wet skin. So, and it says to apply with fingertips. So I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. I'm super excited. All right, let's see. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it. Can I get next?
so it's been about nine minutes i didn't want to go over the 10 minutes so i'm gonna wash it off with lukewarm water right now all right guys so i don't know why but for some reason maybe my skin is just really strong but there was like very little tingling no burning sensation or anything like that i honestly think that if i put the lactic acid one on i would probably feel like nothing but so far i mean my skin looks bright it looks dewy looks really nice so i'm going to pat it dry put on my advantage fast acting treatment just to the breakout areas it's not a full like retinol serum and then i'll put on my moisturizer and i'll be pretty much good for the night patting dry i'm gonna be really soft take your time don't rush it don't do any dragging motions i could cause wrinkles and it's just mean to your skin you wouldn't want to be dragged around and pulled all right now that my skin is pretty much dry just to the specific breakout areas i'm gonna apply a little bit here that was a little bit too much and then just gonna rub that into those areas I have a problem with blackheads and my eyebrows due to my t-zone being pretty oily um right over here we have some blind pimples and while benzoyl peroxide isn't good for like getting into those blind pimples it's good for reducing inflammation and keeping bacteria away from the area so next i'm going to move on to my hydrating gel moisturizer so it's a gel one i think because of the kind of skin i have it's oil free because because of my t-zone that t-zone i already have more than enough oil there just applying this I am feeling some like leftover tingles all right guys and that's pretty much my nighttime routine um yeah I mean you can see the blind pimples came to a head but I'm not gonna pop them because that's not what you want to do my skin just overall feels Really soft, supple, dewy, and young. Feeling some tingles here and here. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Maybe my skin is weird and only felt the effects till after. I did wash it off. You can see that there was nothing remaining on my face. So I'll just have to wait and see. So guys, of course, I just wanna give a disclaimer that maybe I should have said in the beginning of the video, but make sure whenever you're looking for products or something to add to your routine, that you research, 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 look what's in the ingredients list, look what it's done to other people, look at dermatologists, just specialists, 95% of the time before I buy something, I research because I wanna make sure that I'm not harming my skin. And the BHA thing had a lot of good reviews, a lot of skin specialists, dermatologists, and estheticians recommended it as an exfoliant because currently I didn't have any exfoliant except for like physically scrubbing my face with a rag, which, no. So, and I've heard chemical exfoliants are better than physical, so I can't wait to try this out and see how it works. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you check out all the different content that I'm releasing, and I hope to see you guys later.